How you doing, Casca? How you doing? You having a good day? Good day. That's my jacket. She's gotten so big. Look at her. Look at the coat coming out, too. Yeah, she's all playful. Been gone for about a few hours. Went to Books a Million to get a bunch of different manga. So anyways, let us begin. As you can see here, I have quite the haul. I got a lot of individual different manga. Let's push this over here. Let's get this in position. But I got quite the haul today, and I wanted to go through everything to kind of show you what I got, because, you know, I wanted to take you guys on a an unexpected journey. Okay, enough with the corny jokes. Let's start off with some easy stuff. Right here, some of you are going to probably question my sanity for getting something like this, but I thought it was just so cool that I could not uh, turn it down. So basically, I got a freaking Cthulhu chalice. <laughs> I got me a Cthulhu chalice. Look at this. I mean, I know it's not probably the best thing to get. I mean, it's definitely questionable if you walk into someone's house and see this. But it just, it looks so freaking cool. And I'm like, you know what? I want to be drinking my coffee in this. Like, seriously, I want to put coffee and be like... <sighs> but, yeah, I got me a chalice. This was at Books A Million. I'm surprised they sold something like this. It was like in the Lovecraftian section. I always loved Lovecraftian stuff. But okay, so anyways, let's start with the haul. So we have pop figures here, as you can see. And now, to make sure you have a good quality, I got a Gollum figure. I saw this, and it was just so freaking cute. I'm like, oh my god, it's just, look at it. It's so cute. He has such a creepy face, but it's just so awesome. But I couldn't help but get, you know, Gollum. It just, uh, man, as soon as I saw him, like, I needed it. Costco, what are you doing? What are you doing? What you doing? What? What? I'll give you attention in a second. Don't worry. But okay, so I got me a Gollum figure. And then my other last figure I got part is, as you can see here, I didn't see any of the others. There was no Yang. There was no Ruby. There was no Blake. If there were there, I would have picked up them. But all I saw was Weiss, so I was like, okay, you know what? At least Weiss is here. I want to pick this up. It looks really cool. I want it. Let us begin with the manga haul. So... These are probably not all in order, so forgive me if they're not, but I'm just going to start pulling them out. So, Made in Abyss right here, Volume 3. This is the manga, not the uh, light novel, but it's such a beautiful series. I cannot wait for it to ever get a continuation. It's fantastic, but yeah, I had to pick it up. This is Volume 3. I saw this. If there was actually a uh, buy two manga, get one free sell at my local Books A Million. And so, like, I was grabbing a lot, which is why there's a lot here. But I got this for free because I, you know, got an extra one. This is, like, the last one I grabbed because they said, hey, you can grab one more and get one, you know, any manga for free. It's like, oh, crap. You know, I went to the Berserk section and I got this. I'm like, yeah. I got me a fresh, you know, Berserk, you know, official guidebook because I don't own it and... Obviously, I want to add it to my uh, my Berserk collection over here. But getting back on topic, though, yeah, I got the uh, Berserk official guidebook. Makes me very happy. Um, right here we have Spice and Wolf. The you know the second series is like the continuation after you know the last volume with Holo. This is like you know Holo's daughter. But Wolf and Parchment. Um, I actually have not read this. I legitimately have not read the continuation. Costco, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you chewing on? You've been chewing on something over there for a while. What are you doing? What? Hey, what you doing? What? What? What are you doing? Hey. Hey. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do my video. Calm down. Stop chewing on stuff over there. People are going to be start saying things. <laughs> Anyways. Ugh. Got uh, Wolf and Parchment, as you can see, continuation of Spice and Wolf. This, I'm proud because I have not read the light novel yet. This is going to be a good read. I'm very excited to read this. But this is uh, Volume 2 right here. Um, you probably couldn't see that right because of the quality, but it's Volume 2. Um, pulling out the next one, we have Ruby. So also Ruby Volume. So this is Ruby Volume 3 right here. It has Blake on the cover from Shadows. It is the uh, manga and all that of Ruby. I've been told that this is pretty good, so, you know, I'm going to be reading it. I'll see how it is. It's how, you know, do review Ruby, and I do like Rooster Teeth's content. 
Um, we have Made in Abyss Volume 2 here. Very, very beautiful cover. I think this is one of my favorite covers, honestly, of Made in Abyss. But it's, it's so beautiful. Just look at it. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, then we have Main in Abyss Volume 1. Really do. The journey begins going down in the hole of the abyss. Such a great freaking cover. Main Abyss really has some really beautiful covers. I love it. But, uh, yeah. There is that. Then we have, I think this, yeah, this is, uh, Volume 4 of Made in Abyss. Now this, this is content that has not been animated yet. Like, this all right here is manga stuff. Like, this goes past the anime. So, anything in this, if you're an anime only, this will spoil you if you read this volume. But this is the stuff I can't wait to see because you got Best Papa in the series in this one. It's pretty exciting. Can't wait to ever see that, you know, finally animated. But okay, is there any more in here? Nope, just got my gift card of Books A Million in there that they get me. Um, so let's move over into this section, spin this around. We have Wolf and Parchment. This is uh, Volume 3, as you can see right there, Wolf and Parchment. Um, I had to get it since it was there, since, like I said, I don't have it. Number one's around here somewhere in one of these, I'll show you. But this Wolf and Parchment Volume 3, still have yet to read this. So I have three volumes. Spoiler, I have three volumes of uh, Wolf and Parchment to read. And I'm excited because, oh, I love Spice and Wolf. If you don't know by now, I, I love myself some Spice and Wolf. So seeing something like this, this pleases me. So Volume 3 of that, we have more Ruby. Ruby Volume 2 right here has Weiss on the cover. Um, once again, more of the manga. Well, I like the little chibi on the back. It's very cute. Um, we have Wolf and Parchment Volume 1, which is where I'm going to begin to start reading it. Then we have Ruby Volume 1. I really, really like this cover. Really Really nice cover of the Ruby manga. And then what do we have in here? This is uh, Volume 19, which actually I did not own. So, shockingly, even though I have the Anniversary Edition that has all of the volumes compiled together, I don't own Volume 19 on my shelf. So I had to pick this up, got it, and so I can finally add it to you know my collection for Spice and Wolf. But I got Volume 19 um, over here. Let's see what we have. Um, I got... Reincarnated as a slime, reincarnated as a slime, and all that. Got to cover some things because the uh, the cover could be a little bit questionable. But reincarnated as a slime, volume three right there, volume two, and then we have volume one for reincarnated as a slime. And this is the light novel, by the way. This is not the manga. I have yet to read the light novel. I want to read it because you know I've been told it's really good. So. This is definitely on my to-do list as well once I uh, finish, you know, Spice and Wolf and all that. You know, the new Spice and Wolf entry. But yeah, that is my manga haul for today. I got a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Casca, you want to give a... You want to give an outro? Casca, hey. Want to give an outro? Yeah. Yeah? You're cute. You're so cute. Yeah. I love you, Casca. I love you.